We're going to talk about some of the interactions between the Earth, Moon, and Sun. We're going to look at interactions that occur because of the gravitational pull between Earth, Moon, and Sun, and also because of the position of Earth, Moon, and Sun. And in this lesson, there's a few different interactions that we're going to be looking at. Um, overall, we'll look at tides and seasons, eclipses and moon phases. And in this particular lesson, we're going to address the seasons. So the reason for the seasons is the tilt of Earth on its axis, not the distance that the Earth is away from the Sun. We already looked at the perihelion and the aphelion and talked about how the um, Earth is actually closest to the Sun during the Northern Hemisphere's wintertime in December, and it's furthest from the Sun in the Northern Hemisphere's summertime, which is in June. So it's not about the distance, it's all about the tilt of the planet and then the rotation of the planet around the Sun so that which way we're tilted will influence what our seasons are. If we were tilted a little bit more, like it says on there, we would have more extremes, and the extremes would be more at the poles, um, because in the, the tilt is just a little bit right now, and but if it were more extreme, if we were tilted even more, then the poles would be more exposed to that direct sunlight during the summertime, and it would be tilted really far away from the sun in the wintertime, which means it would be a lot colder in the winter. So as you're filling out your chart, we're going to start with winter. So we're going to look at the winter solstice. It starts between December 20th and 22nd, usually on the 20th or the 21st. Um, during the winter solstice, we have the longest periods of nighttime and the shortest periods of daytime. The sun is pointed most directly at the Tropic of Capricorn. And so we're always speaking about the northern hemisphere when we're talking about our seasons. So the, for the northern hemisphere, this would be our winter time. As we go through the seasons and the Earth starts to rotate around the Sun, we end up at the vernal equinox. The word equinox means equal. This is a time of equal days and equal nights. Um, once again, there's a, a range of days. So this is in March. Um, vernal also is the Latin word for spring. So this is our spring equinox. And the Sun is pointed most directly at the equator during this time. As we continue around the seasons, we end up at the summer solstice, which is in June. During the summer solstice, though the sun is pointed most directly at the Tropic of Cancer, and the, the northern hemisphere is pointed most directly at the sun, and so we have our longest periods of daylight in the northern hemisphere. As we continue our, our walk around the seasons, we end up at the autumnal equinox in September. Once again, we're back to equinox, so we're back to that equal days and equal nights, and once again, the sun is pointed most directly at the equator. We were only talking about the northern hemisphere, so everything is flipped then when you go down to the southern hemisphere. So this diagram just gives you a little bit of indication of how the Earth is tilted on its axis and how it looks when we're tilted towards the sun versus away from the sun. Um, you can see that in summertime, here in June, we're pointed direct, we're pointed towards the sun, the northern hemisphere is, which is why it's, we get more direct solar radiation, and so it's warmer. But if you'll notice here, in, both in September and in March, you'll see that we're not pointed either for, towards or away from the sun, and that's why the sun is hitting most directly at the equator, and we get those equal days and equal nights. So once again, we talked about that we're closest to the sun, actually in December, and we're furthest away from the sun in June. Just another look, so this would be summertime in the Northern Hemisphere, showing that direct solar radiation hitting most strongly up towards the Tropic of Cap, oh, excuse me, of Cancer, um, and that way is why we get more um, heat in the summertime. Here's our Tropic of Cancer, which is where we get the most direct solar radiation in the summer, which helps to make it hotter, and then our Tropic of Capricorn, which is where our most direct solar radiation is, at the winter solstice for the um, northern hemisphere. We're not getting as much direct solar radiation and that makes it cooler. This one just gives you a little visual of the amount of daylight that we get during the seasons. The next lesson will be about tides.